Hi, I'm John Padilla. Uh, I'm a Colorado native. I'm a military veteran. Uh, I'm a volunteer at Flatirons. In 2010, I bought this 2006 Harley Street Glide. And I love that bike. In fact, somebody asked me what brought me to Flatirons, and it was that bike. I rode with my Christian Motorcyclists Association chapter to Flatirons on a church visit. And when we pulled up in the parking lot, I saw the, the logo for Flatirons, and the first thing I thought was, that's where all those stupid orange stickers come from. And so we went in, first song played is Led Zeppelin's Stairway to Heaven. And I'm looking around and all my brothers and sisters are there, so I must be in the right place. Um, but I love that bike. I had to let it go, but I've always wanted one since. So Fort Logan National Cemetery is where we are now. My wife, as of three weeks ago today, is buried here. She battled ovarian cancer since January of 2014. So Christine and I originally met, I remember it was the summer because we would go and play putt-putt. We agreed that we would have five questions ready for each other. My first question to her was, Christine Ann, who is your first love? And without even a thought, she said, Jesus Christ. Just over a year ago, Christine and I started seeing a new oncologist uh, for the first time. We heard the words metastatic. Really for her, death was, was oncoming. It was, it was really a matter of time. We knew with Jesus that we could walk through anything. We knew with each other we could walk through anything. A long time ago, Jim did a series on home, and he, he said that the man is the door of his home. He keeps the bad stuff out. I couldn't keep this dragon out. It walked in with my wife, and it stayed there. There was nothing I could do about it. I couldn't fix this. But I could be there, and I could be present with her. And we could be there with Jesus. Jesus' comfort for, for us I actually needed to be reminded of. And I got reminded of that through Christine and know that no matter what the outcome is for the flesh, that the spirit can't be, it can't be touched. We started seeing things from the victory. We saw this fight from the victory. Uh, and that really became our mantra, is that we see this fight from the victory and the victory is her hanging out with Jesus. The victory is her being in heaven in a body that will never know cancer or any other ailment. Yeah, I prayed for God to save my wife. I prayed for him to take the cancer away. But in the end, in the end, I prayed for him to take her life. And if you want to feel small, pray that prayer. Even though he took Christine and she's in his kingdom now, walking with Jesus, I'm still in the valley of the shadow of death. I don't get to call for an extraction, right? In the military, you can call for an extraction. A helicopter will come and lift you out of whatever you're in. I don't get to do that. One of my trainers at Fort Bragg, he would say some of the coolest stuff. One of the things he said was, when you're in a firefight, when you're in a battle, don't worry about the outcome for yourself, whether or not you're going to make it out of there alive. Don't worry about that. The outcome is something greater than yourself. And even though you may not live to see it, you still play a vital part in it by being a warrior in it, by taking part in it. So during those times when we're having a tough conversation towards the end of Christine's days here on Earth, uh, I asked her, can I get a Harley? And she said, promise me you will get a Harley. Well, that's a promise I can keep. Christine's thought about me getting a Harley, and I know she was joking, she had, she had a great sense of humor. Uh, she told Ben and Zach, I told John that he can get a Harley because I figure if he gets a Harley, then I'll see him in heaven a lot sooner. If that's the way it works out, man, all the better, right? Uh, I love the way that Ben put it. I'll be singing with the chorus uh, when I'm in heaven and pretty soon I'll feel somebody's hand slip into mine and I'll look to my side and it'll be her and she gets to show me around. Uh, that's an awesome thing to look forward to. Right? That's what knowing 
that walking through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. What I don't fear is the enemy taking me because I belong to somebody else. I've already been ransomed. I belong to Jesus and he knows it.